With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The given question is, a figure shows the graph between current and voltage for two conductors A and B. Their respective resistance are in the ratio. So we are given a graph between current versus voltage okay for two conductors a and b as shown in the graph and we have the options 1 is to 1 1 is to 3 3 is to 1 and 1 is to 2 okay now see according to the ohm's law according to the ohm's law we know that voltage is proportional to current and uh, after removing the proportionality sign we get v equals to ir okay now this now this graph is plotted between i and v so from here we can write i must be equal to 1 over r times v okay so if i compare this equation with the equation of a line which is y equals to mx so from here i can write the i has been plotted on the y axis the voltage has been plotted on the x axis so this 1 by r will represent the slope of the graph right slope of the graph and further we know that a slope of a graph is represented by the tan of the angle okay tan theta okay tan theta angle and it is given by m okay so now if i have to find the resistance then uh, i have to find the slope of the graph for the uh, respective conductors right so i can write m a over m b okay slope of graph uh, slope of conductor a divided by slope of conductor b will be equal to tan of tan theta of a divided by tan theta of b okay and this will be equal to 1 over r a okay and 1 over r b right so if i take the if I solve this, the RHS part, we will get RB over RA must be equal to tan theta of A divided by tan theta of B. So now, as we can see from the graph, the angle, the angle of A, see this is 30, this is 30, so this angle would also be 30, right? And the angle of A from the x-axis would be 30 plus 30, that is 60 degrees. So this will be theta a angle and for b we will have angle of b would be 30 degree right so from here we can write tan theta a we must be equal to tan 60 degrees divided by tan theta b is equal to tan 30 degrees okay so we will get r b over r a must be equal to tan 60 is root 3 divided by tan 30 is 1 by root 3 so we will get the ratio of 3 is to 1 so from the so further i can write the ratio of ra ratio rb must be equal to 1 ratio 3 and this is the required ratio and from the given options a b c and d option b is the correct answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today